Okay, backstory. Yeah, I'm asking too many questions, right? They're just gonna explain it to us. So this is what he actually looks like. Or is that what a foral a foreo looks like? Oh no. Oh yeah. It's perfect. Thank you, a foral. Good. Perhaps now you can stop rambling about wanting natural flight. What is up, guys? We are back some more Sea of Stars. We're here in the, the world that Sarai is from, and we've made it to... What is this called? Sacrosanct Spires. And we're pretty much like on our way to go kick some ass. Uh, oh, yeah. We're, we're here right now. So we had, uh, you know, Daffy Duck over here set us up in a trap in the gallows, and we got out of that. And so now we're up here, and they're like, oh, we got we to gotta get rid of them. So here we are. New challenges have bested the spires. The triumvirate of eminence acknowledges your presence. So you're in charge here? You will address the great illuminator by title. We didn't come to replace you. And what is it you seek? Estristae. <laughs> Only one possible wrong answer, and you just gave it. Preposterous! It is not the place of anyone to stand in the presence of our god. For centuries our people have been in gatekeepers. What you ask is impossible. Please listen. Whoever put you up to this has gravely misled you. As Tristai is no god, we built it to- Silence! <laughs> He's turning up on him real quick. <laughs> Trespassers seek to violate our laws and commune with our god. The triumvirate of eminence reigns supreme, and I, Abstarak, eminence leader. Prepare for illumination! Isn't that like what, uh, is that what minions say from like Despicable Me and stuff? They're like, illumination! Um, uh, not sure what to expect, so we'll, we'll shield up. They're already together, so... Uh, let me... I'll swap. Delay your attack a little bit more so I can... get a better attack in or something. Alrighty. So I think we can. Now nah, we'll start here. I actually like starting off these videos with like a boss fight. I need to. I need to plan this a little bit better. Like, what the heck was that? We got his stuff stopped. Huh. Well then. <laughs> we have no combos with anybody. I don't know, I think I want to wait just to see how much damage uh, the stuff is going to do, honestly. So the other one's at 100%, so that's going to get zooped. Okay. 
150? Holy crap, man. Uh, you're a healer? Okay, so we know to to take you out over there. And we still haven't seen Asterak attack, I think, right? Because I kept delaying. No, we've seen it attack. Yeah, it was that weird move. to heal himself up. Oh. I think right now it's just best to keep attacking, right? Did that even do that much after getting like the mana charge either? Oh, who has uh Ah it's the other one. Okay, so we will We'll do that like three person combo. Uh I think on this one? Who has the I actually have to like swap out. Oh. Dude, that's high damage versus one target. I don't want that. I want multi hit. So this is one way, I think. So I gotta try to hit everybody with this. But more so this healer, right? Oh man, this is gonna hurt, I know it. So we'll, we'll use this ultimate. <laughs> It'd be nice if it took out two of them. Daffy Duck and the healer. Ah, we took out Daffy Duck. True Terror. Oh, snap. That took us down to one? <laughs> Gotta buy ourselves some time. I'm gonna have Rashawn heal us up too. I still don't know the timing to get like bonus heals on that skill. I, gotta, I feel like I gotta look that up, but I kind of don't want to at the same time. Uh, we are going to delay. Ah, snap! Took out the other one. So y'all already know what time it is.
<laughs> we're gonna we're gonna test out this uh, moon rock skill. I feel like I haven't used it. And then we got enough for an ultimate. Hey, that was nice. 16k exp. Let's go. So this is it. <laughs> Great Eliminator, I have failed you. You sure have. Get out of here. With that weak shit. Great Eagle. So this is how you choose to thank us? We gave you flight and you would repay us with our destruction? I'm so thrown off, like, because Rashawn, he's too quiet here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, he doesn't even know. For you to end our lives after we sacrifice what was required. Is this irony, or does your cruelty surpass that of your partner? Ephoral. Huh? So y'all gave him his power of flight, or the ability to transform into an eagle. Okay, backstory. Yeah, I'm asking too many questions, right? They're just gonna explain it to us. So this is what he actually looks like. Or is that what Ephoral... Aphoreal looks like. Oh no. Oh yeah. It's perfect. Thank you, Aphoreal. Good. Perhaps now you can stop rambling about wanting natural flight. Hmm, yes. I suppose I could move on to rambling about how great it feels instead. <laughs> Just my luck. Happy birthday, Rashawn. I'm glad you liked your gift. How did you do it? I thought a transmutation spell like this required a hybrid soul. I obviously found a way, but you'll have to let me keep my secrets if you want more surprises in the future. I don't know about that one. If you said a hybrid soul, doesn't that tell you he probably used a hybrid soul? I suppose that's fair. Oh, try this. Interesting. He's like, what is this? Kool-Aid. <laughs> There's no taste, but it's impossibly refreshing. What do you call it? Don't tell me he's going to say water, y'all. Ice line. The state of equilibrium between ice and water. The final ingredient is the warmth of the drinker's mouth, forcing it to contrast by turning into ice for but a fraction of a second. But it melts as it tries to freeze, letting you experience a seemingly ethereal temperature. It melts as it tries to freeze. Okay. Oh, I see where this is going. You still have that flash design in mind. Yes. I'm ready for another attempt at capturing the sands of time. Third time's the charm. I will accompany you. I was hoping you'd say that. And if you ask nicely, I might let you fly on my back. <laughs> Big if. Another lie. So he made a deal with you? The Fleshmancer? Yes, many of us were sacrificed while he was working on your gift. What he offered in exchange, the power of mind magic, and purpose in the worshipping of Estri or Estristi, it was well worth it. Before, oh no. This hurts you? Then it brings some measure of peace to know that you are cursed with immortality. Suffer well. Okay. I guess we just go have Rashan suffer. So, uh, what, what was that about? The Great Eagle. It was a birthday gift from Aphoral a very long time ago. Back when he was still himself. Or so I believed. I'm sorry, Rashan. Just one more happy memory ruined. In the grand scheme of things, it's of no concern. But this does imply that his wicked deeds began centuries earlier than I had assumed. Okay. 
So now you're trying to figure out what's the lies and what's the truth between y'all. This changes everything. Does that mean you're no longer going to work by your code? I must go. Oh, come on, bro. But you got a nice heal. What? But why? My calculations are way off. It is imperative that I return to the archives and run more models. You can't just leave like that. We need your help to fix this. Uh, he's like, here's my clone. This puppet will help you until you've seen this journey through. Thank you for the companionship. It has been refreshing. Farewell. Just like that, he... Anyone in there? Hello? Well, he did say it was a puppet. He left like we were nothing to him. Whatever. Rashawn played his part and made his choice. You're right. We should press on. Fist? We're almost at Estra State. The teleporter at the bottom of the stairs should be functional now. Damn. Let's get them, them heals, though. I swear, we keep gaining team members, losing team members, and then now we got, like, a fake Rashawn. I gotta see, is it called, like, a puppet now? Oh, it's just, like, literally his face. Okay. We didn't use any items, so we're good to go. I don't need to cook anything. As far as I know. Yeah, this I don't recognize. The lookout, okay. Broken handle. So that's uh, a key item, right? Or is it not? Teeks might get a story. Okay, so it's a story for Teeks. Okay, cool. This is what we were looking for, too. Uh, the, uh, it's like the Titan that's like a cyborg and nature combined. We made it. Or, we made it. I don't even know what, like, tone to really have for this. Uh, is this the release mechanism? Very out in the open. Ratcheter. Is, it, is there another way? Step aside. You gonna punch it? Cause that's as strong as his will, right? Okay, that that works. <laughs> like, how far did it go? Okay, now we get to leave the island and sail somewhere? Dang it, that thing goes all the way over here? Way to go, Biz. Did it work? Yes, the Speedball Travel Network should be online now. From here we can fast travel to any of the other stations, including the one in Skybase. Oh, okay. Interesting. Teeks, what's good, girl? Man, those things are fast. <laughs> hey, Teeks. Hey, how's it going? We're making progress, but we just lost Rashawn. Yeah, but he's, uh, he's right there. <laughs> what? I can see him right there. It's just an empty puppet. The real him is gone. Interesting, interesting. Let me write about this. So Rashawn can summon a puppet. <laughs> kind of creepy. Kind of cool. Oh, hello there. She's really trying to figure out what he is. That's living glass? 
Nice to meet you, I'm Teeks. Greetings, my name is Biz. Hey, so I was exploring near Repine and this speedball thing just opened up. Was it your doing? This brought power back so we can use it to get to Sky Base. Oh, I'll tag along then. I gotta see that. Thanks. I guess. But guys, I'm gonna end the episode off right here. We got that boss fight out the way and there was like a lot of dialogue here. So hopefully we meet up with Rashawn again, you know, so that way we don't have this empty puppet. You know get some good dialogue going but i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like for the video it helps out the video a lot and i'll subscribe to my channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here but with that said stay sharp later